All right, what else do we have? Okay, we said we're gonna take a look at some high-end storage auctions real quick. So the only reason I'm looking at this, guys, last week I did a video where I said, would you pay $40,000 for this locker? Well, I had a guy completely go crazy on me. He's name dropping, which is really funny because he got mad at me and he is in three different videos where he's bragging how you made $27,000 into a million dollars with a NASCAR collection on Craigslist. You guys can search it yourself if you want to. I was gonna reply to each one of his comments on video but then I was like, you know what? It's not even worth it because he's just hating. But he doesn't get the fact that this channel is about educating people and showing different people an opportunity. His mindset is so like, don't show anybody you being a jerk. He was telling me his territory is from Arizona to New York because he lives in Illinois. Um, at least I think he lives in Illinois. I'm, I'm not really sure. So he's a, But he says now he's going to expand to California if a good unit comes. I'm like, okay, whatever. I mean, I, I buy all over the place too. It's a free country. Hate to break it to you. I'm allowed to talk about stuff. So it's, you know, you said your son is in the Marines or in the Navy. He's stationed down here. I thank him for his service. Truly no BS from the bottom of my heart. I thank every soldier, every veteran, every Marine, every sailor, every pilot, whatever. Um, I thank everybody for the service because I love this country. But... Part of the service is that we have to write for freedom of speech. And if I want to talk about units and if I want to give advice and if I want to help people to change their life, I'm allowed to do that. So so the two units we filmed and got so upset about was uh, these right here, obviously. I said, would you pay $14,000? Because people in chats were talking about two and $3,000. One of them is at 18000 the other one is already at 18000 I already talked to Jeremy, too. He's been looking at these units for the last two years. I'm hoping he's going to buy them. He's definitely going to bid on them. And hopefully, if he gets these units, then it's going to make a lot of good videos on what the hell. So, you might want to check that out. Uh, somebody asked also, well, you know, these units have special history, too. They've been coming up and down for two years, so that they're not set-up units. And... Um, yeah, you want to check you want to check that out. So that's going to be really interesting. I think these units will bring a lot more than forty thousand dollars, but we'll see. There's another unit I talked about in Michigan. Um, he said he was upset that I mentioned another unit. I'm assuming it's this one. This unit is already eight thousand dollars with five days to go. Um, you add the ten percent bias premium. I think that's what it is uh, on storage treasures. If you have the membership, I don't really like this unit, to be honest. I mean, there's a big gamble, but, like, I really believe in pride of ownership. And, look, they got some crappy old mattresses in there. They got their boxes just thro thrown in. You know, a lot of the toys that you see, they're in rough condition. So, I don't really like this unit for $8,000. It's, I think it's, um, this almost looks like somebody been taking it to the swap meet, to be honest. The comics that we do see, I mean, that's a $4 comic. That's not old. You know, as a basketball display case, that's kind of cool. Some store shelves. But then you just have, like, a little lawn tool in there. So, I'm not crazy about that. Newer comic. Stuffed toy. I mean, it's a 10 by 25, so who knows what's all in there. You know, if the whole the whole back wall could be stuffed with comics, so you take a big gamble. It, it could turn out good, but... I don't know, the stuff that I see is rough, and I don't see a pride, pride of ownership, so... It's definitely a gamble unit. But then again, I mean, 10 by 25 is a lot of stuff. What's the worst that could happen, right? Um, then is another unit that popped up. And I've seen this unit go up a few times too already. It's in Wheaton, Illinois. Um, I don't think this unit will sell either. To be honest, guys, I think those two units that are 18000 apiece, that's why it was funny the guy got so mad because we've all been watching these units for the last two years. Uh, and, you know, the people that are big in the business, uh, they know about this unit. It's, it's not like I'm telling a secret. It's extremely unlikely that a newbie is going to come in and just buy those units. Nobody's going to drop fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 without knowing what he's doing. Without having, you know, the soul stuff set up. But you never know. But So, I don't know. So, this same thing. So, what I was going to say. These units are not going to sell. I don't think they're going to sell. Here's another nice unit. This is $6,000. 10 by 10. Which, at first, I was looking at it. I'm like, hmm, it's already high. Because over here, we got about 10, 20, 30 boxes. We got here, we got another... Eight, so we got 38. There's probably not an eight back there. Let me see one, two, three. Actually, another 10. So 38, 48, 50, 52, 55, 56. So roughly 60 boxes. So right now it's at a hundred bucks a box plus buyer's premium. 110, 120 dollars a box. It's a lot to make up. But then on second look, I noticed a lot of this stuff right here. Um, let me see what's that. It has Lego logos on it. Oh, see, down here is all Lego, Lego. These look like Legos. 
So maybe, but still, you know, I mean, you're already paying 110 bucks a box. So even if a box brings you $200 a box, um, here, this whole box, that's all Lego in there. Um, let's see what Batman Legos on eBay. Batman Lego. So a lot of Batman stuff, it's not as desirable. I mean, it sells, but it just doesn't sell a lot. And for me, like, in all my uh, stuff, like, DC always sells slower. But see, here's Batman Lego. Um, 14 bucks, 25 bucks, 27 bucks. Uh, here's a set for 100. Let's see what the top Batman Lego is. But I'm probably going to get some huge lots. Let's see. Highest price? That must be advertised. 1500 Mr. Freeze. These are bigger sets. That's like a whole lot. Yeah, so I'm going to get lots. It's hard to tell. But in general, for me, my personal experience, Batman is just not as strong as other stuff. Uh, wrong one. Okay. So there's a lot of Batman stuff here. Also over here in this top box. I had these right here. These Shadows of Gotham City. And Enforcement. One of the two I might still have on eBay. I'm not sure. They might have both sold. Um, Puppets of Crime and Alliance of Fears. So those were going for about 50, 60 bucks a set. They were nothing too crazy. So that box is a $200 box. So even if you can average $200 a box by the time you take off eBay fees and stuff like this, you're not making a crazy amount of money. These statues are like, you know, I have a lot of Batman statues. I have black and white statues. So Jim Lee stuff, it sells slow. One of the stuff. But these are maybe 100 bucks a piece, maybe 200 tops. Batman. Oh, these black and white, you see them in the background to the left right there? Right here. Oh, you know, I can make this a little bit big, I think, for you guys. There we go. See this to the left right here? So I have a bunch of these. They're about 100 bucks a piece, but they sell slow. So I don't know. Like, at $6,000, I think you kind of know there's a PlayStation 3 Batman set in there. I mean, I think you still can make money, but it's, I mean, that's easier money to be made, to be honest. But, I mean, if it, if it were my local area, I still would buy it, but I wouldn't fly cross-country to buy this. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a unit in my area, because the guy was like, you would never show units in your area. So, now, this is late, but I just saw this unit today. This is in L.A. I don't check L.A. units as much. It's in Carson, California. We're looking at $3,400. You know, they obviously have kit stuff in here, too. See, we can look at it a little bit better. So this is the first time I'm really totally looking at the unit. I noticed it earlier. Oh, in a second, I'm going to show you guys a unit that somebody's actually crazy for bidding on, I think. Um, I don't know what this is. But obviously, so we got a flat screen TV right here. Let's see what else we see. Flat. It's not the best picture. I wish they would have bigger pictures. A couple of dresses. So I think those Adidas Samba shoes. Probably like 30, 40 bucks. Bed, some more shoes up there, a little bit of boxes, bags. I, I never like seeing this stuff. Hypothermia, it's probably diabetes or something. That's not a, that's not the best thing. Um, and then obviously where the money's at here, the reason it's so high, we got Air Jordan, Jordan, Nike. I think those are Air Force ones. Don't quote me on it. Those look like the old Nikes. But Jordan, Jordan, Jordan can't tell on that one so then if we look at the big picture we got roughly we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten and that's not the highest one so we got one two three four five six that's 60 66 68 so roughly let's say 70 pairs of shoes roughly so with bias premium you're already at like 50 60 bucks a pair of shoes so and even bigger Jordans, you know, I mean, they're not in boxes. They're obviously worn, so unless he has some really good stuff. Here's another pair of Jordans up here. Uh, unless he has some really good rare models, you know, that's not that much profit. And I mean, I can get for good Jordans if they clean the stuff in my store. 80 bucks, 100 bucks, 120. Uh, some better ones on eBay. Depends what size they are. You know, actually, if I were smart, these are like the regular type of shoe boxes. See how much room like a size 11 takes. So... You know, that's an interesting unit. It ends up tomorrow morning. I don't think I'm going to buy it. If I were to buy it, it'd probably be more for video because, like, Jordan videos do pretty cool and people like going through them. They have, they have a good time. But um, I don't know if I can make that much money in it, to be honest. So I don't feel like one if I want to drive to L.A. And, you know, then I have to load furniture and bets right now. Everything that's going on in L.A. is crazy right now. I don't want to be in L.A. Uh, down here just looks like paperwork, 
Home Depot stuff. The rest of the stuff doesn't really look like shoes. But who knows? I mean, there might be another 30, 40 pairs mixed in here. But I think it's going to go a lot higher anyway. But this would make a good video. So... I don't know, that's in my area, that's ending tomorrow, so you guys are going to see this video at 8 a.m. Uh, this will end around, I thought it was noon, 16 hours, uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, roughly, this should end. So 10, 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, actually, it says right here, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Then, you know, with extended bidding, I might look at this, maybe I'll bid. If it doesn't move too much more, I'll bid on it, but other than that, I won't bid on it. All right. Now here's the unit. Uh, actually, this is another unit. This is in uh, Texas. I should call crimes fine. So Matco guys, you know Snap On. They did all this stuff over. Um, they started doing all this stuff over in China. Then Mac got bought it by somebody else. I think Mac was Home Depot or somebody. So their stuff, a lot of it's done in China. So Matco for American companies is like the company right now. It's the most expensive. People spend the most. Excuse me, they spend the most money on it for new stuff, unless you get old snap on stuff. So this right here is already at $3,500 with four days to go with buyer's premium, $4,000. These boxes, I mean, I have to look them up, but they're probably worth about that range. So you take that gamble that if the boxes are empty, you probably get your money back, maybe lose a little bit on the boxes. If um, if the boxes are legit or if they're full of tools, you can make tens of thousands of dollars because it adds up fast. But a lot of times what I noticed, if people have boxes, I mean, actually, they have a lot of locks in there. So, yeah, another thing. So if you don't have the keys for these Matco boxes, they're pain in the butt to open up. Um, at least the ones I had in the past. I had old Snap-on boxes, old Matco boxes. Um, now I got a good key guy, so he probably can do it. But they're still a pain in the butt because the way the locking mechanism is in the back. Uh, you can try to call Matco, and if you have the key numbers, you can get the combinations. You just have to wait. But um, So that's a free gamble. I mean, buying those units is not bad. You, you, worst case, you lose a little bit. But like I said, if it's full of tools, it's killer. But in my past experience, every time I got these boxes, they were full of tools. Those guys usually would wrap them up really good so nothing falls out. And also it gives them more support of the draws in case it moves in the truck because you don't want to break the ball bearings and stuff. I don't even know if it's possible, but I mean, I've broken stuff, so usually the whole box moves. It's all these lessons you learn hard in a business. Um, and there's another unit right here. Guys, let's say together, when we watch Storage Wars, when we watch Bargain Hunter Thrift, what's the one thing we never, ever want to buy online? Non-lean non -lean unit private seller actually i wonder if storage stretch has listened to me because it used to be private seller non-lean unit now it's just private seller i need I, so i know the ceo of pretty much all the auction sites so i actually want to send him a facebook message and ask him about that if they actually um if they actually listened to me and finally made it a private seller unit instead of a non-lean unit manager special unit so because the private sellers used to be in that category. But look, guys, this is a private seller. This is somebody selling you the stuff they couldn't sell. And some fool you right here is already bidding uh, $4,000 plus 10%, so $4,400. And I'm going to look really quick because I haven't looked that good. If there's anything in it that we see, that's for sure money. You know? Crappy old recliner. And, of course, that's mostly covered with clothes. Little bits. But, you know, there's people that get excited. Don't pay attention. <sighs> Okay, I don't know. Call me crazy, but there's a couple of Wii systems. I don't really see anything of value. DS. I mean, it's just a box. Is it in there? Old crappy stuff. Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Some sports cards. All garbage. It's not garbage. I mean, it's low dollar stuff, but it's not. I mean, you can buy the stuff from Mean Bulk if you want to. Beanie Babies. Ohio State collectible football. Uh, that's a military. I think that was for the Iraq campaign. I'm sure I'm going to have some ex-military stuff that's going to tell me. that I th For some reason, I think that was Iraq or Saudi Arabia, some kind of station. I find these all the time, usually unissued. If I find military uh, medals that are issued, I try to contact the family, usually, if I can. But um, most of that stuff is unissued. It doesn't have people's names on it anymore. Uh, I don't know, like a chair horn. Let's see what he says in his description. Memorabilia, autographs, baseball and basketball cards, autograph posters, antiques and collectibles, video games, jewelry, fishing rods, lure furniture, military equipment and suits, photo documents, coins collection, 
turf, expensive tools, power tools, toys, tons of vintage crib, vintage lamps, vintage jewelry boxes, sports, sport clothing, over 25 boxes, and totes of computer phones, vintage tra. That's some interesting spelling. Let's see what's in here. Ohio State t-shirts. I don't know. Whoever buys this, it has seven days to go at $4,000. Whoever buys this is probably going to hate the business. And they're probably going to be on storage auction uh, buyers on Facebook group. And they're going to be complaining about how crooked the business is. Because that's a losing unit. Guaranteed. Uh, by the time you pick it up, by the time you pay the buyer's premium, even if you get it at this price, you're going to be into it $5,000, $5,500. Then you still got to pay you. Well, I guess we include workers. But then you got to pay your spaces, your listing, all that stuff. Um, if you like stuff like that for that much money, I'll set you up with a better load. All right, this is the car. What's this? I forget what this is. I think this video is getting long. Oh, this one is interesting. I might bid on this four days. Uh, high risk. So actually, I sell this stuff good in my store. So they, the only thing I don't like to have prices on here, but I guess it could have been the in inventory. So this is a unit that's in Arizona. So that's not really my territory. That's the territory of the guy from Illinois. So hopefully... I won't get in trouble if I bid on this. But again, with everything going on, Arizona really, like, I am, like, so cautious. Normally, I'm like, yeah, I'll drive to New York. I don't care. I'll fly. I'll drive something back. I think it's adventurous, especially once we close down the store. Part of the reason we are about closing down the store is so um, oh, we're getting paid to leave. But part of the reason I don't want to do a store right away so we can just buy units all over the place. Check these out. They're kind of beautiful. Different crystals and stuff. So, but, you know, here's the question. You know, we see some trays, and I don't like it when storage companies open stuff. Are the rest of these trays, are they full of stones? Or are they just left over? See, like, right here, this just looks left over. Um, see what else is here. So, these are interesting. Doesn't say what it is. Now, I see all these right here, but are, they, are all these trays full or are they empty leftovers? Quartz, mix $50, mix $75, mix $100. Now, also, is it mix $100 for the whole tray wholesale or is it $100 a piece? I don't know enough about rocks and stuff like this. If you guys know, let me know. Here's a showcase. So, obviously, this guy was probably doing conventions. Looks like there's some stuff. And actually, the showcase looks super dusty. So, um, must have been there a while. Wow, that's dirty. Actually, it's been stored for a long time. So, that's actually a good sign. Here's another one. And then you can see the trays right here. So, like I said, it comes down to, are these trays full or are these trays empty? Because there's not much else in the unit. If I buy these in Arizona, some of you guys can come. We'll do a meet and greet. I'm going to start doing more meet and greets when I go up to these different cities to pick up stuff. But see, everything here is empty, 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 empty. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. For some reason, I felt like there was a second one. No, these are different. So I'm not sure how I feel about this one yet. And I think we covered everything in here. Let's see my area really quick. 92064. Is anything good ending? Mm. See, like these units, they look crappy. Just stuff. But for 30 bucks right now, they work a lot. Because, I mean, how hard... It's not that hard to find $30 worth of stuff. I'm sure it's going to go for a little bit more. But, like, if you really want to make safe money, like these high-dollar toy units... And st I mean, it's a gamble, dude. They can be huge rewards, but you are taking a lot of gamble. You know, you take these units right here. So, you, uh, this is really beat up. This is garbage. I wouldn't buy this. It's only $10. Let's see if we can find a good worker unit. I will show you guys killer stuff. Oh, this looks interesting. What are these boxes? Hmm. <laughs> I can't read the top. Drills, handle with care. Epson. Let's see if we if there's a better picture. Oh, these are some kind of supplies. Kyrie or Kirby. Oh, these are, I think these are vacuum parts then. I don't think Kirby makes power tools. Huh. These are spray bottles. Oh, maybe it was some kind of cleaning business. What does it say here? San Diego, Para. See, guys, I always look for the labels. You can learn so much on labels. Avalia, that's Kirby. Uh, maybe it was a Kirby repair shop, or maybe it was just a car cleaning, like a, like a maintenance uh, company. 
And those are just replacement parts to use. Some kind of stickers. I don't know. Ten dollars. I mean, guaranteed money maker for ten dollars. See, that's why I tell you guys to find these other units. Um, and like know your facilities. Like this unit looks really good. But um, it's a non-lean manager unit special. And I don't buy this facility, unfortunately. And I have my reasons. There used to be one facility in Ramona, and I'm not sure if it's this one, so I'm not saying it's this one. But before the auction, those guys would actually, the manager's kits would have yard sales with all the good stuff, and then they would sell units. I'm like, yeah, I wonder where all this stuff comes from. <laughs> like, they were always garbage units. I wouldn't buy units there forever again. So, 